The correct way to wire a rotary changeover switch can be difficult to figure out. In this video, David, who is a licensed master electrician, shows you how it's done. Let's get to it. Hi there, this is David and Marcy Lynn, the Just a Little Further crew, and we're here with another how-to video. Hope you enjoy it. A rotary changeover switch allows you to easily switch between two different power sources or circuits by rotating a knob. It has lots of uses, but one common example is in a camper van. If you are in an RV park, you want your AC outlets connected to the campground electrical grid, or to borrow a term from the boating world, shore power. When you are off the grid, you want your outlets connected to your inverter. In our van, a rotary changeover does this. It has three positions. In position zero, the outlets are totally disconnected. In position one, the outlets are connected to shore power. And in position two, the outlets are connected to our inverter. Now comes the confusing part. There are eight terminals on the switch that have to be connected, and not much, if any, documentation is provided with the switch. Now this is how the terminals are connected together in the two switch positions. When in position 1, Terminal 1 is connected to Terminal 2, and Terminal 5 is connected to Terminal 6. When in position 2, Terminal 3 is connected to Terminal 4, and Terminal 7 is connected to Terminal 8. You probably know this, but these are the usual wire colors in a three-conductor cable. The black conductor is the hot or energized cable, the white conductor is the neutral wire, and the green wire is the ground wire. Sometimes ground wire is uninsulated. Now let me show you what gets connected where. This table shows the connections to be made. Hit the pause button and take a screenshot if you want to save the image. Note that the three ground wires should all be connected together. So this is how the switch works. In position one you can see that the shore power black conductor is connected to terminal one. Then through the switch to terminal two and finally to the hot or black conductor of the house circuit. Also, the shore cable white conductor follows a similar path to the house circuit neutral wire. When we turn the switch to position two, the shore power conductors are disconnected. The black wire from the inverter is connected to terminal three, through the switch to terminal four, then along the jumper to terminal two, and onto the house hot wire. Likewise, the inverter white conductor connects to terminal seven, through the switch to terminal eight, along the jumper to terminal 6, and onto the house circuit. To make the connections, it's best to use either a spade crimp terminal or a ferrule type terminal. I prefer using a ferrule, but this is a totally personal preference. Here's a 16 second tutorial on how to crimp a terminal. And here's a quick tutorial on how to install a ferrule. Now I'm going to make and install the two jumpers we need between terminals 2 and 4 and terminals 6 and 8. The switch enclosure has two punch outs or knockouts that are used for routing the three cables. Use a screwdriver to remove them. The switch comes with two cable glands that hold the cables in place and seal the box from moisture and bugs. Remove the nut, slide the gland into place, and screw the nut back on to secure the gland. Crimp the terminals and all the conductors, then slide each of the cables through the glands and make the connections to the switch. Connect all the ground wires together. I found that a wire nut is too large to fit into the small switch enclosure, so I used a butt connector.
crimp sleeve will also work. Once all the cables are in place, attach the switch to the box using the four screws and you're done. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. If you want to see more of our how-to, travel, sailing, road trips, and trekking videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also blog and update our website regularly, so check us out at www.justalittlefurther.com. Bye for now.